Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. This is Scott from Planet X News. Listen folks, just a quick update on this magnitude 5.11 right off the coast of Ferndale, California, six hours ago, registering 26.54 kilometers deep. You know folks, whenever they have these earthquakes here in the California area and also up here in the Washington area all along the Cascadia fault line and the Juan de Fuca fault. Whenever I see these earthquakes here I always check into them a little further because I know the USGS has a habit a very bad habit of downplaying any type of earthquake activity in this area so I check into it and if you go over here to the USGS and you pull up the information for the reporting stations that listed this earthquake so you see here magnitude 5.1 74 kilometers west northwest of Ferndale California now they did have a tsunami listing not a warning but a listing with this earthquake but that's kind of suspicious and that led to my suspicions immediately so if you look here you're looking at the stations that they went with with reporting this 5.11 magnitude earthquake if you go here and click on details for the reporting stations because it says here five stations no amplitudes contributed for this magnitude. Hmm. Okay. Well, I find that very suspicious. Here's 45 stations listed. You click on the details here, you get the details. Let's pan down because there's something very interesting that I find here. Moving down to this reporting station right here. What do you see? Magnitude 6.6. .6. Let's move down to the next one. Right here. Magnitude 7.9. Excuse me, 7.29. Interesting. Let's move over to this reporting station. Magnitude 6.13. Interesting. We could move down a little further. Magnitude 6.14. Very interesting. So here are all the listings. This one's even more suspicious. Magnitude 8.07. Okay, very interesting. Another one here. Magnitude 6.17. You could go on down here, magnitude 6.3. So there you see how they list the magnitude of these earthquakes. So they went with the lowest magnitude as an average and listed this earthquake as a magnitude 5.11. So you can pan down here real quick, go to the next reporting station. They had an average of a magnitude 4.89, 73 stations listed as reporting. And if you go down the line, these were all relatively low. But it makes you wonder what the real magnitude of this earthquake was. So if you go back, We'll get out of the, the reporting stations here real quick. Let's go back one more. And we'll take a look at the earthquake. So here you have it right here. Now the reason why this is a concerning earthquake, magnitude 5.1, if you look right over here, you'll see how they list them 
and they also had the Tsunami Warning Center icon listed here. But when you click on it, no warning, but why would they even have it listed? And this is a very, very sensitive area here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just a bit. And this is another, another fault line right here. And they do have earthquakes here quite a bit. And these earthquakes in this area are very concerning for Northern California. Reason being, I'll show you real quick. Let's take a look at this. This is just a cross section here, or not really a cross section, but a map of the Explorer plate, the Juan de Fuca plate, and the Gorda plate. This earthquake that we're referring to, this magnitude 5.1 or greater, was right along this Gorda plate. Anything happening in this area is of a great concern. Because anything can trigger a catastrophic earthquake which would impact this section of North America. We all know about the Cascadia Fault. We all know about it. Now, there's another section we'll take a look at. This gives you a little cross section of what happens in this area shows you the Pacific plate the Juan de Fuca Ridge and the plate and this shows you how they're pushing up against each other and what happens and what triggers these earthquakes this Pacific plate pushing against this plate as it's subducting underneath this causes serious damage but I'm greatly concerned at why there was a listing for much higher magnitude earthquakes other than this 5.1 let's click on the tsunami icon and let's see what what they have to say about this I mean they're clearly showing magnitude magnitudes for this earthquake much much higher so no tsunami warning no advisory no watch or no threat now here they have it listed as a magnitude 4.9 with only a depth of two miles 55 miles west of Eureka California interesting very very interesting and then you know and folks this wasn't that long ago uh, we're looking at six hours ago this came in right here in Mexico magnitude 4.9 but as you see all through the San Andreas fault region I'll just zoom in a little bit they got quite a quite a bit of activity going on here now not all of the earthquakes are listed on this site but when you move back to the USGS and it will show all the earthquakes for the last 24 hours and if I lived in this area I would be concerned I would always be concerned so there's California as you can see, these are small quakes right along the San Andreas fault line. But then as you get into the area of Los Angeles and San Diego into Southern California, you see a pretty large swarm of earthquakes, all relatively small, but still a concern. But what's even more concerning is that earthquake right there. They list it as a magnitude 5.1. But other seismic devices, they caught something different, something of a much higher magnitude. 
I think their reporting of earthquakes at the USGS is horrible. And I think it's very deceiving. It's either they're deceiving people or their instruments and their devices suck. And they should be fixed or replaced. Because if you have devices registering earthquakes of a magnitude 6, 6.5, 7, 7.5, and even an 8, then something's wrong. So either your devices are broken or you're lying. You're lying to the people who live in this region of the United States. So the question is, was this really a magnitude 5.1? Or was it much greater? I guess we'll never know because it was out in the ocean. You know, if this was a magnitude six and a half, you know, seven, seven and a half, or even the eight, I'm sure a lot of people in this surrounding area would have at least felt it. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not an earthquake expert, but I've seen enough of earthquake uh, information and data over the years and I always check up on the USGS especially when they're listing larger earthquakes along this region their data just doesn't jive but I thought I would point that out we're probably going to see a considerable increase in earthquake activity over the course of the next several days we do have some coronal hole uh, streams coming our way. They seem to be somewhat mild, but we, you know, we will see. We have one of them coming in within the next 24 hours that will be impacting the earth. And I'm going to go over all that information later on in a solar report that I'm going to do because we definitely have some trying days ahead dealing with this sunspot AR2665 which is slowly rolling back around the sun and it will be earth facing in about 7 to 10 days and that is the huge sunspot that is creating all of these massive CMEs some of the, the these CMEs they were labeling them the kill shot. That's even more concerning. But I'm going to look, look into the situation a little bit more, myself and the doctor. And we've actually spoke a lot about that situation over the course of the last couple of days. Because it's a big concern. But I find this 5.1 magnitude earthquake off the coast of Northern California to be very suspicious in their listing when multiple devices picked up a much larger quake right below the Juan de Fuca fault line right near the Gorda fault. Interesting. Very interesting. But I thought I would file this report with all of you so you can see sometimes what happens and what goes on with information concerning these earthquakes. This is Scott from Planet X News and the Nibiru Channel. Thank you for watching.